Namaste. Welcome to our next virtual session. I'm so happy and honored to welcome you here, the most beautiful, precious beach on Maui, Hawaii, to wherever you are in the world. I'm so happy we are able to connect this way. Right now, here in Hawaii, we're expecting another hurricane coming by, um, which may hit us any day, today or tomorrow. Um, just um, meditating on this happening here, I would like to share with you, we have all various hurricanes going through our lives on a daily basis. In our personal life, in our uh, family relationships, in our careers, um, it's all good. We all need to go through this and many times those hurricanes, they clear the path, they clear the energy around us, allowing us to grow into a more fulfilling um, uh, space in whatever is happening to us, either it's in our relationships, in our work. Um, so all we need to do is just to feel grounded uh, in our self, in our true inner essence, knowing we are spirit soul, we are always loved and protected as there is one uh, supreme person always looking after us, protecting us with his love, his um, uh, taking care of us in every second of our existence. Knowing this and knowing that we are spirit soul in essence, that we do not belong um, either we know this body and we do not belong to this material manifestation. Knowing this, uh, we don't need to fear any storms. They come and go, there is a rainbow afterwards and it's only here to help us to grow further, to clear um, all the old debris which, is, which needs to go, which is no longer needed in our energy fields. So, welcome, embrace any hurricanes coming, like we are just expecting one here, and um, see them as the messengers of change. Um, that's all they are. Beautiful. So, right now, let's come back to our breathing session. We will explore uh, yogi breathing taking it one step forward. Sit down comfortably. Uh, feel comfortable, have your legs comfortable to whichever way you are right now, either you're sitting on the chair or you're sitting in a beautiful lotus pose or semi-lotus or you may simply lie down comfortably on the bed and just listen this session. Uh, the only uh, recommendation I would have is to observe your spine, uh, allowing it to be firm like a trunk of a tree for the energy to flow smoothly through, through to two uh, main meridian, meridian channels uh, located in the spine. That's all we need to be aware of. Also allowing us to focus the, our attention, our awareness on this flow of energy. This will allow us to be more centered, to focus on the energy of the breath. Um, if you're sitting comfortably, uh, raise up your hands, your arms. Open your hands into the universal energy like I do right now, absorbing the prana, beautiful prana all around us. If you are outdoors, which is amazing and I would recommend you to do so, um, absorb the energy, the beautiful nature energy uh, through your palms, through your whole body. Breathe into the universe. Uh, 
absorb the energy. And spin it all around. Time, open your palms, open, absorb, open your chest, open your arms, absorb the energy into this area, open this whole area into the breath and absorb the energy. We want this good energy to come to us, to flow through us, to nourish us. We're absorbing the energy and spinning it all around our body to get equally transmitted into the smallest molecules um, located in the, in the other parts of our body, into little poles all over. Beautiful. One more time. Open your arms, open your chest, open your palms and we're absorbing the energy. We're praying into the universal energy to feed us. Beautiful, joyful energy absorbing, nourishing us all over the body. Nourishing our eternal, uh, etheric body. We're spinning it all around. Spinning the energy through our body, feeling its joyful, joyful vibration. Beautiful. So great. Beautiful. Have fun one more time. Absorb, breathe through your nose. Open your chest, absorb, and spin it. back to our yogi breathing. Again, uh, what we learned in the last session, our uh, internal body, we're imagining we have a beautiful vase round at the bottom, narrowing, narrowing through the chest area. Bottom is our abdomen, going through our chest area and then also opening here. I want you to open your chest, that's where the heart chakra is located and that is where we want this area to be, to stay open, absorbing the love, being able to receive it and to reflect it, to give it back. Always remember the love comes from within you. That is where the source is, you're connected to the source of the overflowing eternal love. Uh, that is where it comes from and that is where you are able to share it with others. You, you don't need to receive love from others. Of course, it's a beautiful gift which we accept and nourish and uh, gratefully um, accept and, um, and uh, cherish. So, the source of your love and your happiness comes from within you. We want to keep our heart chakra open to be able to flow this loving energy out to others, to strangers you meet in your life, to the ones who are dear to you. It doesn't matter. You may share it with anyone. Once your heart is full of love, overflowing, you will feel like it's just overflowing and anyone is welcome to 
to taste the love uh, flowing through you. Beautiful. So we are exercising in pranayama breathing to open the chest, to, over, to open this area, the heart area, to have the overflowing love energy um, expanding through your whole beautiful um, energy, through your whole being, uh, and touching the lives of others. Beautiful. So now let us breathe. Let us absorb the energy flowing through, filling the lower part of the vase gently, then narrowing a little bit, going through our chest and still filling it with the energy. And then the vase opens into its um, higher part and we want all this area to open and absorb the beautiful loving energy of prana the universal prana, which nourishes us, keeping us vibrant, uh, keeping us alive and useful. Uh, that is where my secret comes from. So many people ask me daily, uh, and of course no one believes my age, which is really fun. <laughs> and people ask me, like, what do you do? And this is part of my secret, and another one is the um, it's nourishing my physical body with beautiful foods, um, which we will talk more about in the future episodes. Beautiful. So, absorbing the energy slowly, filling our lower part. A beautiful breath in through your nose. Breathing through our nose, it's nourishing the um, meridians much more effectively than breathing through the mouth. So we will always want to flow the air through the nose. Absorbing the prana through our nose, through our chest, opening, beautiful, opening into this area, absorbing more. That's what I um, mentioned in the last episode. There is always space for more. Um, when you hear and you're feeling you're full, try to take more. There's always more abundance. There is never a shortage of anything. Absorb this abundance also in energy. It's your birthright. Fill your body, your energetic body with this wonderful gift from the universe and let it flow through you, nourishing you. Beautiful. Hold this space. Hold this area. And slowly we letting it go. Slowly releasing the energy and where we all the way down we are uh, squeezing the last part and pausing here for a moment. And then when you feel it's time in your own rhythm, observe the energy through the nose, through your starting from your abdomen into your chest into your upper chest, into your arms, keep breathing in. This is your nourishment. This is a pure energy which flows and nourishes your whole existing um, physical body. It's repairing your energetical body. And pose here. Whenever you feel it's time, let it go gently, with control, gently release the breath in your own rhythm. Observing how it travels through your body until you come 
to the emptiness in your abdomen and stay here for a little while. That is what we will practice today. We will add the um, we will add the um, the part of emptiness to our practice. Um, there are at least two schools of teaching breathing. There's actually more because they all evaluated into the modern practice and there is some different um, schools in today's world. Uh, though the main ones um, would talk about um, the importance of breath, of, of breathing in, observing the prana, and the other school would talk about the importance of emptiness, of actually holding the space um, that, that's the most valuable. I have been learning from two schools and following both, uh, trying to find the middle way, um, though accepting the importance of both um, gifts. Uh, so today we will accept the gift of emptiness. Uh, when you are at the, when you um, expel all the air and you're feeling empty, um, your abdomen and you're focusing your energy on the abdomen and you are exhaling all what is there and with it all the old toxins, emotional toxins and everything which needs to go, which is no longer needed. At this moment and you feel you empty, stay there as long as you feel you are able to be comfortable and even a little bit longer, without of course choking and feeling like this is like I can't take it anymore. Just before this moment, you still want to be comfortable. So stay in this presence of being empty and simply relax into it. Um, our mind, our body will have a tendency to panic a little bit, uh, telling you this is uh, not a place to be, you can't um, hold a breath and you need to take a breath as soon as possible. Observe what's happening and just let it go. It's normal reaction of the body and the mind uh, and know that you are above the mind. You know your mind, you are the, uh, above the mind. You using your intelligence, being spiritual, you using the mind as your tool and you don't need to always follow what it tells you. So, being in this empty space, it's a place of surrendering. It's a place where you trust your inner knowing, um, your inner, uh, as you are spirit soul, you're connected, um, being part and parcel of the Supreme Being. You know you're safe, you're protected, and that's a part when you empty, where you, it's a great way to exercise this uh, surrendering, this letting go of you being in charge um, and simply being there. And it's a place where you realize you don't need anything. You, 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 you literally don't need anything. You have everything you need even to live. All you need is, uh, in the end, of course, you don't need to go this way, but you, all, all you need is prana energy, even to sustain this body. Um, so, you can just relax and let go and joyfully absorb the emptiness around you. In this emptiness, what happens physically to your body, the prana will travel to the um, to the, all the way to all the little cells all over your body and nourish it. And when you finally take a breath, very, very strongly, uh, the prana will have an amazing power to it. The, the breath you take will have an amazing strength to it. And this strength will push into little parts and particles of your molecules of your body all the way to the end 
nourishing all the little areas, dark shady areas where no light, no prana ever comes to. And that's what we want to achieve. We want this flow power to create this powerful flow of energy and to it's like a reward after accepting, surrendering into emptiness, into being comfortable with letting go and not being in charge and just trusting that you are loved, protected and um, all is well, always. Beautiful. So let's practice our pose uh, and we will practice it at the bottom when you empty and also when we are at the top where we have absorbed all the prana and we just um, want to stay in this feeling of fullness so that is another uh, that's another surrendering surrendering into fullness into abundance uh, which are both the same uh, which are both the same part of the same energy and it puts everything into perspective it's neither empty it's neither full uh, and we are a part of of everything, of all of this universal energy. So absorb the fullness, surrender into the fullness, uh, joyfully feel this fullness of energy flowing through your body, stay there, relax into the fullness, absorb it, joyfully feeling the energy feeding you. And then slowly let go, release the breath and slowly empty your breathing. Beautiful. Let us practice three times in your own rhythm. Um, I will do in my own rhythm and please you follow in your own rhythm.
hope you enjoyed uh, your breathing session. Um, it's all about letting go. Um, it's all about trusting in love, trusting you are loved, protected every second of your existence. Um, only then we are able to let go, surrender, to release. Uh, we're not in control. We don't need to be in control. Surrendering to love, to being loved, and to love in exchange. Beautiful. Let us finish the session with wonderful Garanga breathing. We learned it at the first session, so I will um, remind for those who join us today. Garanga is an ancient mantra. Uh, it's um, Consisting of four syllables, which are Go, Ra, An, Ga. You're welcome to repeat it after me. Go, Ra, An, Ga. Beautiful. Go. Let us do three, four breathing sessions um, with the Garanga uh, on the exhale. Thank you. Go. Love 